Meow, meow, meow. I just love this pose this of this cute little kitty. This cat has such a charming face and I've done sketches of this same cat before in different positions. I'm just mapping in kitty shapes here now. And this one I have in real time, regular speed. I'm just feeling out where those ears need to go. This is my third tree kitty this week. So it's tree kitty week this week. I'm just aiming for the main shapes. I'm just trying to keep fluid lines moving that really flow together nicely. Kind of miscalculated on that first part. You'll find the link to our Facebook group, Cat Drawing Art Workshop, in the video description. And we would love if you would join if you truly are passionate about drawing cats. And there's some other handy links there too in the description. Just really mainly shapes and angles at this stage. Making sure the direction is right and that, that it looks convincing and that the cat looks comfortable. Shape of that face is really important to help capture the character of that particular cat. Feel out where that muzzle goes. There it is. and some eye lines. I love to hear from you, so if you want to drop me a comment and let me know what you really want to learn about drawing cats, I'd love to hear from you. Or just tell me your kitty cat's name, or how many cats you have, or what country you live in. So now we got a tree in there, so Kitty's not floating in space. And I'm going to move that over a bit more because I just really miscalculated where it goes. And those extra lines will just, they can just end up being movement and tone. And it's just practice anyhow. You can see a hint of that foot there, that paw. I'm going to change the position of this just to, so it looks like the cat is actually clinging to the tree while well, coming down. And just hints of toe lines. Just aiming for character. Here's where I start to tighten up a bit. And the eyes look a little wonky, and that's perfect. I love it. It's what adds the extra character. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are what make this channel tick, and we'd love to have you help us build the community. Now I'm really starting to darken up the lines that I really like. Well, I guess I started that a little bit ago. I'll leave a tiny bit of a highlight in there. And you don't have to have a highlight. It all depends on your own personal style. I like to squeak in a smirk. This is a happy looking cat. I don't know, I think I might have maybe should have left those last lines beside the muzzle out. 
I kind of feel like I lost a bit of the smile when I put them in. And that's how we learn. Just add a bit of texture on the tree, but I'm not doing anything other than that to the tree. The tree's kind of just there to support kitty background. But of course, if you were going to take this drawing further, uh, you could use this sketch to, you know, do a more polished drawing. And then those tabby stripes, they really help to shape the contour of Kitty's head. There, I think I brought that smirk back now. Outline the eyes just to help them stand out. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, join our Facebook group. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Ta-da!